What are OKRs? In this video, we want to explain what OKRs are all about and how you can make use of this framework for yourself and your team. First of all, the OKR framework is not some new trend with a fancy name, but a technique that has been used for many years in a few of the most successful companies in the world. Companies that were early adopters of OKRs include Intel, Google, LinkedIn and Twitter. But back to our question, what actually are OKRs? OKR stands for Objectives and Key Results. It's a framework that can be described simply as a system for setting goals and reviewing achievement. This takes place in fixed cycles. In most cases, one cycle lasts three months. So how does the OKR framework then work? The first part is the O, which stands for objectives. The objective should be the answer to the question, what do I want to achieve by the end of the cycle? The objectives explain what needs to be done. The objective is therefore a mini vision for the OKR cycle. The phrasing should inspire and motivate, but it should still be attainable. It is important that it's easily understood. The second part of the OKR framework is made up of the key results. Key results are the steps that have to be taken to achieve the objective and thus answer the question, how do I know I'm getting there? The key results describe how the objective is achieved. Key results should be understandable for everyone, just like objectives. In addition, the key results must be measurable and influenceable in order to ensure that teams have real control over achieving their goals and can take responsibility for them. The formulation of OKRs always takes place at the beginning of a cycle and should not be adjusted halfway through. For teams, an OKR set with a maximum of five objectives with three to max six key results each is recommended. Fewer objectives naturally means a stronger focus on fewer topics. The number of OKRs is therefore an individual issue and can also vary from cycle to cycle. Finally, there are two important points to remember. OKRs don't have to be perfect straight away. It's better to start small rather than wait until everything is perfect. Short cycles allow for quick adjustment and can always be refocused on the most important priorities. OKRs, when used correctly, not only help with structured goal setting, above all, they create transparency, allow employees to take ownership of their achievement and promote an agile mindset. Visit the Agile Hub page on Yam United to learn more about OKRs and find lots of other valuable information.